Tears hit her cheeks like Tyson's glove. Pain hits his heart as she fights for love. Praise God. Um, it's about 12:51. And uh, last night we had a, a 19 year old shot and killed um, from his neighbor across the street. There's more to it, um, but that's not important right now. Anyways, it's on the border. It's in Bloomington. It's on the border of like Fontana and Bloomington. And I'm just getting back from there. I went over. It took me like an hour and a half to find it only because um, the the streets are all weird and diagonal and upside down and whatever but i thank god because i was able to pray with some of his closest friends tony's closest friends his uncle his brother um and and i was able to pray over the spot where it happened over the house because it happened like literally the guy who did it lives across the street from him so it happened like right there uh in the middle of the street and um you know their hearts were open you know, I didn't give a sermon or anything. I just I just said, hey, man, I just want to let you know Jesus loves you. And you guys got a lot of people praying for you. And um, and it's it's hard when when you lose anybody. But then when you lose someone to to murder, it's even it's even worse. And so um, one of the guys was was talking and saying stuff and, and he was just opening up and and, you know, right now is a good time because hearts are open they're vulnerable they're tender and uh, just like God says he draws near to the brokenhearted and I told him you know if you guys can't remember anything else I said just remember your heart's broken and God is drawing near to you I said just let God hug you you know and um I said because that's all God wants to do he's your father and it's okay for you to ask you know why it's okay to, to um ask you know how come this and how come that i said because we serve a loving god and um and he wants the best for us and it was just awesome because after um before that i uh stopped by and, and i visited our our home girl right there on alder our homeless girl and um you know she uh full of life as always she was uh, uh getting ready to crash out and i just told her hi just want to make sure she was still there you know, still live, still kicking, you know. And then um, it just uh, it brought me joy because the last couple of days uh, or since Sunday, you know, I, I really haven't had um, last couple of days. Uh, they haven't been good for me. Um, I haven't shared anything, but they just uh, were some pretty tough days, letdowns, you know, family in the hospital, back and forth and praying and asking God, you know, why is this happening? But I thank God because... You know, I just left my number with them and I told them, hey, you guys need to talk. I said, I'll be up, you know, to five o'clock in the morning. I said, you guys want to pray? You guys, you know, need anything? I said, Jesus is extending his hand out, you know. And um, I just want to thank God because, uh, I mean, God gave me the opportunity. And um, it's been on my heart since it happened. And I thank God that um, I was able to just look at these these guys and just say, look, Jesus loves you and it's okay to question God and it's okay to ask why and it's okay to say how come um, and I did find out that the neighbors across the street moved out yesterday um, just out of fear out of being cautious out of not wanting his friends to retaliate against them but like the uncle said he said you know everybody loses you know we lost our nephew and they lost their son he said nobody would.